everyone is talking about last night, the slap heard around the world. Uh-oh, Richard! <laughs> oh, wow! March 28th, 2022, Will Smith makes the Oscars relevant possibly for the first time ever. What just happened here? So much to unpack. All right, explain this to me like I'm a two-year-old. We all have the urge to snap back or lash out at times. A hurt animal attacks anyone that gets close to it because it's in pain. You want to, we all want to, just don't do it. When we fail to control our emotions, it has consequences. I'll see you in court. Words have power and will get us canceled, but violence is on a whole nother level. The law sets rules to keep us safe and give us a remedy. Civil justice says no more an eye for an eye. And in this case, there are two potential lawsuits you need to know about. This is a civil battery, but what are the damages? The first is assault and battery. The second, negligent security. What happens when Chris Rock sues Will Smith? There's a complete lack of um, mens rea, which by definition tells us that there can be no crime without a vicious will. A vicious will? Oh, let's look at this again. <laughs> oh, wow! Not a good day for Will. How do we help Will? There are times in life when an apology just won't suffice. Bad actors in civil lawsuits, we call them defendants, need a way to make amends, a way to make it right. Reconciliation is a two-way street. When a defendant makes amends by making it right, the plaintiff can offer forgiveness. I want to apologize to the Academy. I want to apologize to my, all my fellow nominees. Um, it's, not, it's not about winning an award for me. It's about being able to shine light. This is how we keep justice civil. Nobody loses when the goal is to make everyone whole with an opportunity to make it right. The Oscars, let's sue them. You've been served. Have a nice day. I don't like you. The Oscars have made themselves so hard to love over the years, I don't think it would be hard to find a jury happy to stick it to the man. There used to be a way to stick it to the man. It was called rock and roll. But not so fast. Negligent security requires that we prove the Oscars could have foreseen and prevented this risk. Does it matter if this is the first time a battery has ever happened at the Oscars? Yes. Does it matter if the Oscars had time to react or stop Will before he got to Chris? Yes. How will Chris prove his injury or damages? I don't see a case. Let's have fun being lawyers. Let's look at the evidence. But note to yourself, this is why your social media posts are so dangerous to your case. When I can find your history, I can ask the judge to let me use it in court. And insurance companies love doing this to victims. Let's see how it works. License and registration, please. Remind your friend to do this one thing. Shut the f up. Oh, but what's good for the goose is good for the gander. <laughs> Right? And you just turn your head when I go. There you go. So much to work with here. The well is so deep. In the end though, lawsuits are about reconciliation. Making amends by making it right and finding forgiveness. The injured forgives the bad actor. And most importantly, the bad actor is finally able to forgive themselves. When this happens, we get true closure.